Hey everybody, what's up? On this video, I'm going to show you how to split test like a pro. Hey guys, what's up? Hernan Vasquez here. Welcome to another video and thank you once again for watching this video. Um, one of the questions that I got like several times already was how to do split testing. So I wanted to touch the basics of split testing and then I will move on to, you know, how to split test your landing pages, how to split test your Facebook and why it's important to split test. Now, first off, if you're a complete newbie, a complete, like you do not have any idea of what I'm talking about, you can literally can't speak English. I suggest that you quit this video because you're gonna understand nothing because I will be talking in plain English all the video, okay? So that's step number one. Now, step number two is what is um, split testing? Now, let's begin with the idea that you do not know what's gonna work best for your audience, okay? You do not know. You have no idea. You can, you maybe have some, some uh, intuition you maybe have, have some gut feeling or you do have the data to know if this ad or this landing page or this offer or this whatever is going to work. But the truth is that you do not know for sure. So that's where split testing come into place. Split, split testing, simply put, is, you know, giving the same uh, or showing two different versions of the same thing to a person to see you know which gets the most the most amount of clicks or which gets the most amount of conversions or which headline works best okay that's split, split testing basically is you take one variable of whatever you're trying to sell and you change it like for something else and then you split 50 percent traffic to this one and 50 percent traffic to that one and see which works best okay that's like how the big money are it, are made online because you need to know exactly and you need to dial down exactly your offer, your lead magnets, you know, your landing pages, etc. So the point here is how to start doing split testing. And you know, I see people uh, when they are trying to do split testing, they just put up an ad and it doesn't work and they take it down. And I, I am guilty of that as well. Okay. So I'm not saying that you're a complete re retard because I am too. So. They put up an ad, you know, they change everything. They put it down because they do not know what works and doesn't. They put up a landing page and, you know, they switch the images and the, the, the header and whatever on the colors and they put it down because they do not know. So the correct way of split testing anything is to change one thing at the time. Let me explain that. Let's say that you have a landing page and you want to see if you know uh, you have or or you have two different uh, lead magnets okay two different opt-in baits or two, dif two different reports that you want to see which works best to convert your visitors into subscribers okay so what do you do well initially what you would do is to on the same page with the same structure you will offer the two different reports okay and see which works best right off the bat probably you will have like maybe, I don't know, 30% conversion rate on one and 50% conversion rate on the other. Or maybe even, you know, a bit lower, like 10% conversion rate on one and 20% conver conversion rate on the other. Uh, you have a winner, okay? You do not need to overcomplicate this. This should be a simple process because the simplest the better because it will allow you to understand more. So you have a winner, a winner right off the bat. You have the 20% conversion rate opt-in bait. That's Great, you have some data right there, so you need to keep going with that opt-in bait. Now, what do you do next? Well, let's say that now you want to increase that opt-in rate from 20% to 30%. Now, what you would do is to take the landing page, okay, like this one right here, and I would split test only the header. So instead of saying 5,492 visitors and 1,647 leads in 30 days, blah, 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 I will split test only the header, okay? I will make two variations, maybe three variations of the same header. All of the, the other things will 
remain the same. And this is super important because I see, again, I see people, you know, switching this from side to side. I see people changing the header. I see people changing the colors. And the problem with that approach is that you do not know what's working. So you need to split test one variable at the time. And this is super important. You do not need to be split, split testing the same variable forever, but you need to give it some time to make sure that you choose the right head, the right headline or not the perfect headline, but the better performing one, because you can be perfecting your landing pages for ages. And that's not the idea. The idea is that you actually get out there and fucking do something. Okay. Not to be split testing landing pages, but this is what I would do. What I would do is to split test the header. So I would split test the header with the best performing uh, Optimate and see what happens. From the, th the two or three versions that I have from the header, I would choose the best performing one. So let's say that from 20%, I managed to get a 30% conversion rate. So now I have a 20% conversion rate on the uh, Optimate and a 10% conversion rate on the header. Okay, so I have a 30% conversion rate. So what, what I would do next is to change a little bit, maybe the layout, okay? So instead of putting this with, this with the best performing header, instead of putting the form here, I would put it over here, or I would put it at the bottom. So you have three different variations of the same landing page, and you will see again which ones converse the best, okay? So remember guys, you're ch changing one thing at a time. First of your split testing the Optimate, Second, you're split testing the header. Third, you're split testing the layout. Then once you have the best performing layout, let's say you ended up getting a 40% conversion rate, um, you can switch and, and tweak a little bit the copy of the, like these bullet points right here or these text right here, you know, or instead of free download, I would put free report and see what works. And then I would split test three variations of the copy. Now you have the best performing ad and the best performing PD, um, PDF or Optimate, the best performing header, the best performing layout with the best performing copy. Now it's time to split test maybe the colors a little bit. So instead of, you know, this grayish or blackish, I would put like a green or um, uh, I don't know, maybe a unicorn or something like that, you know? So the point here is that you're split testing one thing at a time because this is really important because if you switch the headline, switch the layout and switch the color, which one impacted uh, positively and which one impacted ne negatively, you will never ever know. Now there are some tools like on this case, Instapage, lead pages, uh, optimize press, click funnels, they will allow, they will allow you uh, improvably, they will allow you to split test, uh, you know, on the fly, like you can make split tests from the, same, from the same landing page, you can have like three different variations and you know, it will tell you which one is converting the best, which is pretty cool. If you do not have access to any of these tools, you can use something like um, Optimizely, which will actually, you know, uh, work with pretty much any technology out there. These are great for WordPress, for example, if you do Optimize Press. I love Instant Pages, they have uh, switched their analytics not so long ago, so I really like that. So. You know, I just wanted to give you guys the rundown, the TLDR on how to split test like a pro, because again, I see people split testing all over the place and I do not want you to do that. I want you to be sure and certain what's working and what's not. All right, guys, on the next video, I'm going to show you how to split test this like hands-on, step-by-step, -step, maybe how to split test your Facebook ads, your AdWords, uh, whatever you're trying to do. But for the time being, just know that split testing is all about testing because you do not know from right off the bat uh, first and second you need to split test one uh, factor one piece of the landing page or the ad at a time okay guys leave me your comment below if you're doing some split testing i would love to know what's working for you and drop me a thumbs up if that's something that you like if you don't drop me a thumbs up anyways and subscribe for more so i can be rumbling all over your monitor or your mobile phone whatever uh, more frequently, which is pretty cool. All right, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.